So we're here to talk about animals and we're here to talk about Wet Nose Day. You would have heard about Red Nose Day, but we're talking about Wet Nose Day, which is the day which is all about helping animals. And we're here at Carlane Animals in Need with Tracy Hilling, one of the trustees. Uh, Tracy, tell us a little bit about what you do here, first of all. OK, uh, we've been in existence for 25 years now. We were formerly Animals in Need until Carla Lane got involved with us and we changed our name and she made a very generous donation to us. Uh, and we rescue mainly dogs and cats, but also rabbits. We've also got goats, ponies, a um, couple of turkeys. Uh, whatever needs rescuing, um, we're here for them. So what is Wet Nose Day? Tell us all about it and what you guys are doing for it. OK, it's a charity, nothing to do with us at all, uh, which is a national charity to raise uh, funds for animal rescue centres across the UK. Uh, and then uh, you can apply to uh, pay a vet's bill or whatever you need. Each charity can apply and say, please, will you help with, with us? And they'll assess who they'd like to help from the funds. And they tried to launch it about 10 years ago. And apparently Carla Lane was the very first person who they had on board to do a video clip for them. But it didn't take off. And then they relaunched it again five years ago. So we're quite excited about helping out really so we're having a quiz next Sunday at the uh, Cricketers pub in Ormskirk uh, teams tables of teams and it should be a fun quiz so we're hoping to raise a lot of money for them. Now this is actually a really important cause for small charities like yourself because yes. I'm guessing that you guys have to fund all the vet bills yourselves yes. for the animals that come in here. Yes uh, generally speaking we'll never get away with a vet bill less than £5,000 a month. Uh, and one month this year it was £12,000 which is you know beyond it's very very hard to fundraise for that so obviously we do receive legacies and we do receive donations but we also have about five uh, uh, fairs and dog shows each year and we raise money from jumble sales and uh, anything we can think of really uh, and we had a quiz for ourselves uh, last year so we were keen to have another go at it this year. So you've got a few paid staff here, but um, like donations, the charity really revolves, um, survives on volunteers. Tell us a little bit about that. OK, well, I've been a volunteer for uh, since 2011 and, and now a trustee, and we simply couldn't exist without our volunteers. They are our absolute lifeblood. We have volunteers who come and dog walk every week, which means that dogs, instead of just getting their one walk a day with the staff and their half an hour in the play area, they're getting another walk and maybe build up a relationship with that person. It helps them to build trust, and it's great for them, their enrichment and them learning to sit and shake a paw and just time, quality time. We have people who volunteer in the cattery and they'll sit with the shy cats and help socialise them. We have a fantastic guy who comes every week and says to the manager, OK, where's my list? And he just fixes things. Um, I, my role is I take all the photographs and I've got two more volunteers on board now taking photographs. Uh, we have volunteers who just sit in that shed for hours and sort through all our donations and get it ready for the shop or for the jumble sale or for the fairs that we have. Uh, and we have so many volunteers that do different things and we're incredibly blessed and we'd be nothing without the volunteers. They make all the difference to us. We couldn't afford to exist without them. They're fantastic. Thank you, volunteers. <laughs> And that's what you guys do here. You kind of build the animals back up to the kind of the, the, the way that they they should be. So uh, once again, just tell us about your event and where it is. Okay, it's at the Cricketers Pub in Chapel Street in Ormskirk. It's next Sunday at half past eight. Everybody's welcome, and it's all to raise funds for Wet Nose Day. And we'll have a raffle as well and raffle prizes. And the Cricketers Pub are providing the uh, prizes for whoever wins the quiz. So get involved and support Carl Lane's Animals in Need and Wet Nose Day if you can. It's all for a great cause. Put my nose on that.